Okay, so yes, I'm a menopausal mum. I'm two years out of the menopause and I've got two young boys, so I'm really busy. And while I was going through the perimenopause, that can, you know, that's the time before the menopause and that can last about 10 years. So ladies, if you're over the age of 40 and you are starting to notice changes in your menstrual cycle and changes in your sleep and erratic changes in your body temperature and maybe you are uh, feeling a bit anxious and wired and tired, maybe you just don't feel like yourself anymore and you know that something is not quite right, maybe the hormones are a little bit out of whack and you know you're starting to put on a bit of extra belly weight and no matter what you do you can't shift it or maybe you've got crazy cravings look I tell you what I've been through it all most of my menopausal symptoms were I did have some hot flushes and I was very stressed running my businesses in two countries and two young children coming with me everywhere we were going so that was quite stressful Um, I was also working really busy festivals and events so lots of late nights and lots of um, you know lots of really stressful situations Um, and But the majority of my menopause symptoms were in my head. So it was feeling anxious, feeling, um, oh, my my confidence just completely went out the window. My self-esteem, absolutely rock bottom. Um, And it just happened to coincide with global pandemic and shifting my business and aging parents, aging mother-in-law, you know, so really stressful time. But I tell you, when I really took the time to nourish myself differently and I did a lot of work on my liver and cleansing techniques and taking out the inflammatory foods like taking out alcohol and caffeine and um, you know processed foods I wasn't really having a lot of processed foods anyway I was quite sensitive to wheat and dairy growing up so I wasn't having a lot of those in my diet but when I really started to work on my liver and support my liver in a very different way then my menopause symptoms really eased so i i teach i can teach you that i i can see a direct correlation when i'm doing state-of-the-art gut testing and hormone testing i see a direct correlation between uh, a sluggish liver and a liver that is crying out for a little bit of a break and a little bit of extra support and i see a direct correlation and connection between the gut health symptoms so we may have damage in the gut lining or an imbalance in the in the good bacteria in the gut and uh, difficult hormone symptoms so we work to balance the hormones to bring um, balance and um, restoring the good bacteria in the gut that's really important and then we see a dramatic decrease in the perimenopause and the menopause symptoms So don't feel like you have to struggle alone. I've been through it. I've been, you know, really focused on a natural menopause journey. And I've got a whole range of tools and techniques that can help guide you through your own supported perimenopause and menopause journey. So don't feel that you have to just put up with Uh, unnecessary weight gain, bloating, feeling exhausted or feeling wired and tired or sleep challenges or even just feeling really, really anxious. There are things that we can do to support all of those symptoms. And you may think that, that we just put it down to the menopause and think, well, there's nothing I can do because I feel like I've tried everything. There is plenty we can do. And there's a lot we can do with nutrition lifestyle and some targeted supplements to really get you the support that you need so don't struggle alone it's you know it's your time to nourish you may have spent all of your life nurturing and nourishing your children your husband and now this is your chance this is your time to really nourish yourself in a very different way it's so important because the thing is if you ignore these symptoms if you ignore the whispers they turn into shouts and maybe your body's already shouting at you. Um, So really, you know, pay attention to those whispers. There is a lot we can do to support a smooth menopause. I mean, what if there was no menopause journey? 
what if there wasn't that struggle? What if there was um, days where you were feeling really good about yourself and you were sleeping really well and you were digesting well and you were, you know, back on tra- track and feeling joyful and happy and vibrant? This is this is your time in the menopause. It shouldn't be such a struggle and a and such a an uncomfortable journey for us all. And we're all going to go through it, ladies. So even if you have had um, an an early onset menopause or you've had a medically induced menopause, there are lots of things that we can do to support your symptoms and to to help you feel better about yourself, to live confident, pain-free, sleeping well, ideal weight, full of beans, full of love, full of energy, doing the things that you love, loving what you do and, and feeling good about yourself. That's the whole aim of this program.